close. You know, who would you kill? Every day, care. You gotta keep your arm. Yeah, boy, get it. Get it. Dang. 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 We out here coming off this labrum tear. We get back into it, boys. Hit him up, guys. Hey, Vance just made his Instagram public. So, you guys can go ahead and follow him now. Out here, cloud chasing. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they gonna follow you at? It's uh, Vance, V A N C E, mm -hmm. dot a lot. Right there on the screen. Make sure to give him a follow. Nice round of applause for the man right here. Yeah, baby. Okay, so a little update on the dog. Jeez. Last night I got about two hours of sleep. She woke up at like four o'clock, right when I was about to go to sleep, and she just wanted to play. She has this little crate that she stays in overnight, just so she doesn't go all over the place. And she was like running back and forth, and she has like pee pads on the ground, and it's just like making all this noise and shit. So I try to tire her out and do all that, man, but it was very exhausting. So far she's been pretty good. She's an asshole. She has asshole moments. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, but I think that should go away. Right? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hopefully it goes away. Okay, so he was telling me about uh, Steph Curry and how he has like these uh, dog training courses that he brings his dogs to and we looked at it and some of them were like two grand, three grand. It depends on what tier you want. What do you guys think? If you think about it, the kind of dog you're gonna have after it's done with the class is just a well-mannered dog and that's worth way more than two grand because you're gonna have this dog for what, 10 years? Spread two grand over 10 years, it's like nothing. I can see it. Um, I wonder if they have like a like a refund thing if like this shit doesn't no, work. No, dude. I, saw, I was reading it like like yeah like the classes aren't transferable to another dog. Um, if your dog dies, yeah, that sucks for you. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Like their policies are savage. I was like, whoa. All right, it's like 6:51 right now. With the dog, I've been staying in my house a lot more. Uh, before the dog, I was going out whenever. I was just doing whatever I want, but. Now with the dog, I'm I'm in the house, I'm like trying to take care of her, make sure she knows what is cool to do, what's not cool to do. Hey, just be glad you don't have a baby mama. That would suck. This makes me not want to have a kid, bro. Not want to have a kid, bro. <laughs> Once the dog is like all grown up and shit, it's gonna be worth it, but those asshole moments, Vance knows about it. Those asshole moments, man. I don't play that shit. Not good. No. 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 I wanted to start this new thing on the vlog channel to get you guys more uh, interactive with it and so I could like learn how you guys think and what's going on and just hear your responses. So we're introducing a question of the day to the vlog series. It's gonna be random ass questions and all you do is answer it and then just read everybody's funny ass answers in the comment section down below. So. For today's topic, talking about fake so, homeless people. We just saw a homeless dude on the corner with the sign and all that. And I saw this video somewhere I forgot. It was like showing this guy who like followed this homeless chick, like was just seeing what she was doing. And she left her spot and got into like a car that was like newer and nicer than his, drove to a house nicer than his. He's just like, oh dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and I was wondering, how do people fake being homeless? How do people fake the homeless smell? Question of the day. How do fake homeless people fake their smell? That just baffles me sometimes. Like, you know, when you walk past some questionable people and it's just like, Woo! God. No shots at real homeless people, but the fake homeless people, how do you think they fake the smell? What do you think they do? Drop it down below in the comments. So in the next vlog, we'll be answering this question and we're gonna be featuring the top three comments that we see in this video, okay? So drop those comments and let us know what you guys think. Um, so you know the people that spin signs, do they take classes or do they just practice a shit ton? Because I've seen some people who are like insane and some people just hot trash. We're hitting you with a double question today. Double whammy. Double bow. whammy. Let's see what you guys got. Do you think that they take the classes or do you just learn that from experience? I don't know, honestly. Drop some knowledge. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Bro, we're just following my mans right here. Hey man, you gotta be nice to people. You just gotta ask them, hey, where'd you park? 
Dude, he's been walking for a while. Okay, that guy said there, and we've been we've been following him for a hot minute. I don't know where the fuck there is. It's gonna be like the gym parking or some shit. Uh, Another question of the day: Do you think Vance is gonna get the parking spot? Come on, man, don't play. Dude, <laughs> at, at this point, we might as well give this mother a ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward, bro. We started off all the way down there. Oh, oh he's taking off his backpack. He's taking off his backpack. All right, all right that's a sign. That's a sign. Uh, he he's definitely driving. It says this. gym parking only. So we thought we had this parking spot secured, right? All right. Look, my guy is staking out the parking lot, bro. No fucking way. Oh shit! All right, we out. This is this is Jim staring directly at me. Jim parking lot only. Look, fuck this place. <laughs> oh shit. The thing is, is that like his seat and where he's sitting, he's taking up three parking spots that aren't gym parking. I'm the only one going this direction. Done. Done. <laughs> Done. That's my parking spot. I don't care. You got it. Woo! <laughs> you got it. Survival of the fittest. Was that other guy waiting for this? Oh, spot? yeah, he was for sure waiting for that spot. <laughs> but I'm trying to get my burger on. Oh my god. I feel like the first five minutes of this video is just getting a f***ing parking spot. <laughs> Another one opened up down there. Oh, pineapple teriyaki vibes, bacon cheese fries. What'd you get, Vance? Oh, guac bacon. Oh, yeah. Johnny Castro! He's a little grumpy today. Uh, he didn't get enough, enough rest. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> What's up? Hey, David. What up? It's been a while. I just realized I'm wearing an in and out shirt. At St. John's. The disrespect. Very disrespectful. We're about to go in, boys. Oh, uh, let me let me get that for you. Let me get that for you. <laughs> All right, y'all. Day number two of this vlog is going to be a continued vlog. Butters is she's under her bed. Yeah. What? Okay, look, 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 guys, look. Where is Butters? This is her cage right here. Where could she be? My mom says she's under her bed. Oh, there she is. Jeez, why do you, can you even breathe like that? Let me just move this a little bit. Oh yeah, she's there, she's there. Yep. For some bizarre reason, she likes to just get in the nooks and crannies and crevices of basically anything. And even though that bed is comfortable, she decides to sleep in between the cage and the bed on the wood floor. I don't know. If you guys have dogs, do your dogs do that? Should I get that checked out? Oh, and lately, your boy has been doing some academia, all right? In that shoe dog by Phil Knight, trying to trying to read. All right, I'm trying to make that part of my daily routine. Whenever she's sleeping, middle of the day, I try to hit the books just to get some pages in. One of the craziest parts about this whole dog parenting experience is that I think I realize how fast these dogs grow, and it's crazy. Like I've only had her for barely even a week and her facial structure looks a lot different than when we got her i'm gonna put the images right here on the screen like when we first got her her face was very like circular very like stubby and she looked very young and then for some reason now like her face is becoming the corgi face like it's becoming more pointy and she looks a little bit longer she gained a little bit more weight because the doctor said that she needed to gain a little bit more so i've been feeding her a little bit more because she was underweight when we picked her up that makes me think like how is she gonna look in a month from now and you guys are gonna see all of this man i'm definitely gonna be vlogging and doing these like updates and all this stuff so it's gonna be super cool so thank you guys so much for sticking with your boy and coming along with me for this whole experience. It's super dope. Ooh. Ooh. See that with one touch? It takes three touches and turns on. So there's a preseason game going on right now and if you guys watched the past couple of vlogs you notice that Eli Harold was in one of our vlogs. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this one's for you, Eli. <laughs> Why are you wearing the Cowboys one? <laughs> I know. But yeah, Eli is one of our close homies. We met him through the Fix Kicks and really cool guy. And it's cool to see him on TV. We have another homie that is on TV besides David Got Kicks. It's great. I know so many celebrities. Hey guys, David Got Kicks here. <laughs> That was not cool. I don't have to tell you. It's Richard Sherman back will uh Is it on? Hear from him oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Dude, you gotta help me. I know it's already started at Keller Willis book. And I've talked to a Kello about it. He said it's unbelievable and Richard's been a big asset. Look, go go, get in a sense. Perception average. What? 
What did I do? Look, watch. Look, that's Eli. See? Today is movie night. We're hitting up Century Theaters out here in Shoreline. If you guys are around this area, this is the best movie theater to go to. And I'll show you guys why in a second. You guys are probably wondering why this movie theater is dope or doper than others. Look at this. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Right there. That's the spot. Super comfy. We're watching Slender Man. Let you guys know how it goes. Watch a Slender Man once. <laughs> oh no, he's coming. <laughs> Rate the movie out of 10. Uh huh. I'm the type of guy that sits in the movies that watches the movie like this. I'm not even lying. Whoa. Call me pussy, I don't care. I ain't one of you. Well, that shit was like, I don't know, like a four, five out of ten. Four or five out of ten for you? Slender Man. After hearing your rating, I'll, I'll drop it down to like yeah, three. The only reason why I was also scary is because, like, you know, like when Slender Man was out, like it was hot, like the game. Johnny, shut the hell Everybody up. Was like, You're oh, annoying. Also, kind of like, not even scary, I guess. It wasn't even scary, so. No, it was not. Super yeah, low rating. I still think, like, uh, which one's that one? Insidious. Insidious. Okay, now that movie, dude, I couldn't sleep for a week. <laughs> I said I'm driving Mercedes My windows not tinted, they look at me crazy I ride through my city I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me We came from the base